the squeaky, scratchy secret. Directed by Stephen Mobley. Written by Kim Holmes. <laughs> of devoted service, my royal pony Archibald had finally earned a well-deserved retirement. Hey there, Archie! <laughs> I hereby knight you, Sir Archibald of Tiny Town. to be knighted. Actually... I had just gotten off my bus from school and said goodbye to Mateo, my bus driver. Bye, Mateo! <sighs> it was a really chilly day. Even the tumbleweeds looked cold. <laughs> I saw my tire waiting for me outside my parents' hotel. Tire, you look like you could use some hot chocolate. Let's go inside and get you warm. school today? It was great! After having high tea with the Princess of Monaco, I went outside and played fetch with my new pet dragon, Sparky. Uh, sounds like you had quite a busy day. I sure did. What you reading, Dad? I'm reading a book that tells me how my crystals were made. Did you know that this sparkling purple crystal was formed inside of a gigantic volcano at a temperature of over a thousand degrees? Wow! How are you able to pick it up? Isn't it hot? Not at all. The crystal cooled down millions of years ago, way before I dug it up. <sighs> but I wish it was hot. It's so cold today, and our heater is broken. Hey, Ellen. How was school today? It was great! I knighted my favorite pony, Archibald, and threw a banquet in his honor. Oh, what did you serve at your banquet? Hmm, we served Archie's favorite dishes. Apples, carrots, and peanut butter. Sounds delicious. <laughs> Honey. The heater is broken, and it's just as cold inside as it is outside. Do you think Cooter can fix it? Of course! He's a whiz at fixing machines and gizmos. Great! I'll go look for him right now. Alan, will you please do me a big favor? Bring this thermos of hot tea to Miss Yamamoto in room 103 while I go look for Cooter? Sure, Mom! Thanks, Button. <laughs> hmm... <laughs> I had just finished an exciting game of space soccer on the ice-cold surface of Pluto. I was far away from my space station, and I only had one fuel cell left to get me back home in time for dinner. Oh boy, I sure hope this works! I dodged back and forth between the craters. When all of a sudden, a small blue alien appeared in the front of my spaceship. And he was holding my soccer ball. Actually... I found Mr. Herbertson standing outside his hotel room. Hello there, Ellen. Hi, Mr. Herbertson. Hi, Eloise. What are you doing out here in the hallway? It's too noisy to stay in my room. There are strange scratchy and rumbling noises coming from the ceiling. 
Scratchy, rumbly noises? Mm-hmm. I can't figure out where that rumbling is coming from. If we were in the middle of the desert, I would swear that sound was coming from a rumbling tropical volcano. Wow! <laughs> Don't you worry, Ellen. There haven't been volcanoes around here for millions of years. Well, I'm gonna curl up in the lobby with Eloise and a hot cup of tea. See you soon, and keep warm. Was Mr. Herbertson right? Was our hotel built on top of a giant underground volcano? That would sure explain my dad's enormous crystal collection. The air was hot and humid, and my legs were tired after climbing up the volcano for miles and miles. I was on my way to the very top to gather a giant bowlful of magical Kuga Luka tree ferns for my pet dolphin, Frankie. I was almost at the top when I heard a rumble. The volcano was ready to erupt. I was just helping my mom deliver a thermos of hot tea to Mrs. Yamamoto in room 103. Here's your tea, Mrs. Yamamoto. Thank you, dear. Achoo! Gesundheit. Oof, thank you. You'll have to excuse me. I have a dreadful cold. Luckily, the heater is working again, thanks to Cooter. But there's a strange thumping and squeaking noise coming from the heating ducts, and we can't figure out what's causing it. Hmm, wait, I know! An alien must have hidden somewhere inside my spaceship as I was flying back to Earth. I had to bring him back home to his family on Pluto, where he belonged. Could he be hiding? I would have to use my special alien extractor beam to find him. the squeaky, scratchy noise is coming from. Really? Where? Mrs. Yamamoto said she heard the rumbly noises coming from the heating duct. Hi, Ellen. Thanks for delivering that hot thermos of tea for your mother. No problem, Dad. Honey, Ellen just said that she thinks the noises are coming from over here. The heating duct? Hmm, let me take a look. Oh my gosh, you're right, Ellen. This is where the noise is coming from. It seems like we have some little visitors hiding out in our heating duct. You mean aliens? Did you find aliens, Dad? Not quite, but look. Those don't look like aliens. They're baby birds. Their mother must have thought our heating duct was a safe place to lay her eggs, and once the heater started working again, it was finally warm enough for the babies to hatch. Sort of like crystals, huh, Dad? <laughs> yeah, sort of like crystals, except the temperature of our heater is much, much cooler than the inside of a volcano. But it's just warm enough to make these baby birds hatch. Wow, cool! Can we keep them? Please, please, please! I don't know. Well, we can't keep them, but we can let them hang out here in the toasty warm heating duct with their mother until they're old enough to fly. How about that? Yay! I had a really busy day today. After knighting my royal pony, Archie, 
Archibald playing a game of space soccer on Pluto and climbing up the side of a rumbling volcano, I was ready to sit down to a royal feast. Actually... We have pizza and garlic bread instead. May I have some more pizza, Dad? Sure, honey. Thanks! <laughs> It was cheesy and delicious. Actually... Actually, it was.